Hi everyone, um, I'm just jumping on to pop together uh, a project that I've more or less kind of um, pretty much prepared um, so that you're not watching lots and lots of preparatory stuff. Um, I will be doing stuff like that in the future where you can see the processes I'm going along but this is something that I prepared over the weekend and I just want to put it together and I thought I'll tell you what I'll get it on uh, on the video and you can see uh, but I will chat through it whilst I'm doing it um, what I have used it's actually out of my um, DT kit for Thompson Crafts um, so I've used uh, sheet number two um, from the Dream Shadow Crafter Clock Mixed Media Paper Pack um, I've used the cogs from the Fabrica Decoro Elements Pack and what I've done with those is I've actually just um, brushed them with some um, black soot uh, distress ink and then I've used um, oh I don't know let me just think just grab the kits um, it's actually some metallic gilding wax um, and it's the it is creative expressions and it's the enchanted gold um, so I've used that to um, decorate these so you've got a little bit of a lovely shine there on the cogs I've got some sizal um, I've got uh, Tim Holtz um, I think it's sort of I don't know vintage images and what I've done I've built this up on the back with some sticky pads and this is um, a wing and I've done the same again and I've just gone over that with some of the um, metallic waxes um, that I have in my own stash um, so that's that um, and then I've just cut it fussy cut a couple of flowers out here at the side um, I've popped a little sentiment there and I also in my stash I had a crown which I'm going to pop on the lady and I've done the same again just gone over the top of that with some metallic gilding wax with the background paper um, it was originally um, if you remember me going through there is a video that you can have a look at um, which is my um, DT pack unveiling um, and it shows this piece of paper um, and it's got all, all the um, the script on it and what I've done is I've kind of uh, enhanced on that so in my stash I have a star uh, stencil and so what I've done is I've gone through that with some uh, texture paste and then I've gone I've sort of rubbed around with some gilding wax it's like a, a pinky color um, just to get the effect on there and then I've splattered on some white and black paint um, and I think that's created a, a really kind of busy background just onto the top and this is one of the things that I was saying about um, about papers um, if you have a quick look at the other video when you've got a base like this there's not much you need to do to enhance it um, but you can add more and make it your own also what I've done here is I've used uh, one of the stamps um, it's the Finnebear Elementals and it's the messy one and I've just stamped that up with some picked raspberry and some black soot so it is very subtle but it is there and it just adds and I've popped some here and here and it just adds to that background for texture so that's the background prepared and really all I'm going to be doing in this video is popping it all together to show you um, what I'm creating. Excuse me, I'm just having a quick sip of my beer. So whilst my glue gun's just heating up, so that needs another couple of minutes, I had uh, some of this paper left. I've actually, um, I'll have another video showing you another project that I've done that I can only just talk you through because I didn't video it. Um, and the that and this is all from the same um, paper and what I've done with this I've created um, some ATCs so that just needs sticking down I always forget because they're sticky I pop them down but then I've got some texture on the back there so I, I do need to make sure it's so this is using um, we're using a gentle wind um, which is the AB Studios and these are the cuttables that's these 
and it's the cuttable flowers and they're double sided papers as well um, and this one's the gentle wind so this one I've done little blue flower and again it's I've cut it out of this as well so it's got the stars in the background it was just really just to use up the rest of that card because I hate wasting things don't like chucking stuff in the bin so this is really just um, used it up and then these are they're just bits of cutouts and pictures that I have in a box under my desk and I just went through that and picked a few bits out um, I don't know where they're from I do apologize um, but uh, as I say I wanted to use up and then they're obviously Alice in Wonderland themed um, and then there's this so that's three ATCs so if anyone fancies swapping um, or doing an ATC swap let me know because um, I do enjoy doing those um, I know at the moment that um, it is difficult with people isolating there's not many people getting to the post office so it is always something that we can uh, think about doing in the future okay so getting back to this and um, I think my glue gun's heated up now so I'm going to grab my sizzle. I also have got some like, it's like a tissue, but it's, it's, it is a paper and it's got like bits of flock going through it. It's, uh, again, it's just texture. It's just extra texture. It's got like, um, I don't know, like little spots on it. Possibly paint splatters. Um, again, as I say, it's just what I use for texture. So I'm going to start building um, what I want to do. So with the sizal, I just kind of get it together and then I gently separate it. I'm just going to put a blob of glue on there. Okay. Now this young lady is going to sit on top of the sizzle and everything's going to kind of go around her so we'll pop a bit of glue extra glue stick so pop some glue on these okay and that will raise her up okay And then really all I'm doing is building up um, interest behind there. What I tend to do with the sizzle is just kind of tease it out with the tweezers. Um, sometimes it can be a bit too much. Um, it just depends on your project and what you like and how you, how you want it to be on your project. So I just snip at it and separate it a bit like that. So I don't want to take away from the cogs, I want to be able to see the the texture there with the cogs so with these all I'm really doing is it literally is just a case of building up interest What I've done there is I've popped a few of these stamens in. I did a pokey hole in the flower and popped some stamens in. Just again, it's just for interest. So 
So I'll pop her a little rolls in there. So I'll take the backing off when it's not on the uh, shiny bit. Pop that like so. so we're just building up a little composition. The other thing um, is that this is um, it's obviously a little bit of a, a scrapbooking um, sort of orientation. Now I don't do scrapbooking per se. Um, because it daunts me a little bit because you've got a big 12 by 12 sheet and I think oh my goodness I've got to fill that 12 by 12 sheet so what I've started doing is cutting uh, my papers this is actually um, a 6 by 6 okay so it, it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be a 12 by 12 piece of paper to create a little scrapbook um, um, piece of work um, you can start small and work your way up um, and again it, that's the beauty of it as well um, so, so this is kind of like a little scrapbook um, but a half well it's not even a half is it? it's a quarter scrapbook isn't it so it's not even six by six bear with me I shall measure it is it six by six I can't remember what to cut it to honestly it is six by six just ignore me yeah six by six so yeah a good way of um, sort of introducing your way into doing it obviously you can use your own photographs um, but this one was just um, some images that I have that are Tim Holtz's that I've had and I wanted to use them I didn't want to leave them be so I've got some little bits of these were just going to go in the bin because um, they're bits of old flowers but I thought well you know what they're um, they can be used as add-ons or you know just like this little bits of can you see what I mean it's just bits of interest and as I said these were just they were going to get whizzed so um, I said they were going to get whizzed they would they would, wouldn't have got whizzed by me but I imagine that I don't know we're all crafters we don't tend to throw stuff away but they were the bits of rubbish off some flowers that I'd done I've had them years I don't know whether they were centers or stamens I've used them on butterflies and all sorts of stuff so I'm going to just start popping little bits of those don't really want to waste them I'm just going to cut that off there oops daisy breaking up the uh, the happy place right so just clip off some of that what you don't need don't need that because it's all glue gun stuff it's absolutely everywhere doesn't it and then these little bits you can just snip and then splay them out a little bit okay there we go so that is a really quick um, little scrapbook piece I quite enjoyed doing that um, and I hope you like it and I hope it gives you some inspiration and um, you have a go at doing a little piece yourself so I shall pop that there and I'll see you really soon in another video thanks for joining me bye